What if everyone you worked with was exactly 36 years old? Welcome to Montessori Education. Today we'll be talking about Montessori mixed age classrooms. In traditional school, the equivalent of our adult workplace, children are grouped by age in one year increments. So five-year-olds are grouped with other five-year-olds in kindergarten, six-year-olds with other six-year-olds in first grade, seven-year-olds with other seven-year-olds in second grade, and on and on through elementary school, junior high, and high school. But why these one-year groupings? Clearly, in our own adult lives, this would be absurd. I mean, just imagine if each of us worked with only peers of our exact age. The results would be a mess. Yet, we impose this on our children through all their years in school. This traditional age segregation exists for a few common sense reasons. For example, it's easier for the teacher, it said. Teachers produce better results if only dealing with all the same kind of student, right? Wrong. For same age does not equal same ability. Children of the same age have vastly different general strengths and weaknesses. And that is why in traditional separated classrooms for first grade, second grade, third grade, etc., every teacher ultimately winds up with the sad job of teaching to the average. For there is no way to actually teach the same content to such differing abilities, especially to upwards of 30 and 40 students in one classroom. It's a sad, no-win situation for traditional teachers. But, it's argued, such classes can be easier for the students. And everyone learns things at about the same age, right? Wrong again. Children of the same age have wildly different abilities in different subjects, so they learn at very different rates. Virtually all of us know this viscerally. As a child, you might remember the horrible feeling of not understanding something in math because it was just way over your head. Or, on the other end, being so bored in literature because you already grasped something your teacher just kept droning on and on about. Ultimately, traditional schooling is just ineffective, as one famous educator clearly demonstrated in practice. About a century ago, a woman named Maria Montessori challenged the status quo in the male-dominated medical world of her time by becoming one of the first female physicians in Italy. Shortly after that, Dr. Montessori challenged other long-held beliefs, this time in the field of early education, when she created her first mixed-age classroom in Rome with three- to six-year-olds. The children in the classroom showed incredible improvement, and eventually Dr. Montessori's one mixed-age schoolhouse transformed into thousands of Montessori schools across the globe, serving infants all the way to 18-year-olds. Now, many have been understandably skeptical about these untraditional schools and ask, are children actually better off in mixed-age classrooms? The answer is yes. And here are three quick reasons why. Number one, Montessori mixed-age classrooms allow children to learn at their own pace. So in a Montessori classroom, there's learning going on at very different levels because there are materials and activities for a wide range of ages and abilities. So take a Montessori primary classroom, which has in it three to six-year-olds. If a child happens to be a precocious three-year-old, well-advanced in, say, math, there are activities for her to do up to long division and beyond because the classroom is not limited to the abilities of an average three-year-old. Or take in a lower elementary classroom with six to nine-year-olds. If a child happens to be a nine-year-old who has struggled with reading, there are books and language materials that actually fit his abilities and that he can enjoy reading and learning from as opposed to feeling shame every time he's called on to read something out loud in front of his peers. And the ability to learn at one's own pace is just the beginning of the advantages offered by a Montessori mixed-age classroom. A second advantage is that they enable children to experience a more developmentally diverse group of peers. In a traditional age-segregated classroom, children by necessity only experience learning at relatively the same level. They don't have the opportunity to interact with more mature peers than they can potentially gain from. In Montessori mixed-age classrooms, this is not the case. For instance, in a Montessori primary classroom, a three-year-old girl might see an advanced five-year-old boy take out a big boy writing book and want to be just like him, and so actually be motivated to learn to read and write much earlier than she would have were she only with other three-year-olds. 
And the experience isn't limited to academics. Socially and emotionally, children grow tremendously as well. You can imagine the benefit a younger, immature boy receives by being around older, more mature peers whom he admires. The fact is, children imitate up, as most parents with multiple children know very well. And this leads us to a third advantage of Montessori mixed-age classrooms. They empower students to learn more by also being the teachers themselves. In Montessori mixed-age classrooms, older children are able to teach younger children. And in the process, they strengthen their own knowledge and their skill at communicating that knowledge. And they do this spontaneously. As Dr. Montessori said, quote, our schools are alive. To understand what the older ones are doing fills the little ones with enthusiasm. The older ones are happy to be able to teach what they know, end of quote. But what happens when we don't regularly have the opportunity to teach what we know or what we think we know? Have you ever gone to give a presentation to colleagues and you froze? Maybe because you were scared, or maybe because you didn't actually fully know the material. I know this has definitely happened to me. So throughout traditional schooling, we take info in, but we rarely have practice explained to others, beyond to a teacher and a red pen and grade book. When a student does have the rare chance to teach in a traditional classroom, his classmates have already sat through a handful of similar presentations. And the typical peer response is predictable, boredom. Ultimately, in Montessori mixed-age classrooms, children have the opportunity both to learn from their peers, instead of from the same adult over and over again, and to become teachers themselves. Now, there are some understandable, but ultimately unfounded concerns about mixed-age classrooms. For instance, what if an older child is stuck giving lessons to younger children? Won't that hold him back from learning more on his own? Well, Dr. Montessori actually answers this one herself. Quote, People sometimes fear that if a child of five gives lessons, this will hold him back in his own progress. But, in the first place, he does not teach all the time, and his freedom is respected. Secondly, teaching helps him to understand what he knows even better than before. He has to analyze and rearrange his little store of knowledge before he can pass it on. End of quote. And here is another understandable but ultimately unfounded concern I've also heard. What if children of different ages aren't getting along? Like maybe a younger child is really disturbing the learning of an older child, or an older child is picking on a younger one. Well, a child's concentration can definitely be affected by another child. I mean, Montessori classrooms are not fantasy lands where everyone gets along all the time. But conflict gives children the opportunity to develop skills at conflict resolution. I mean, for how else does one learn to build respectful and meaningful relationships if not through trial and error? This is clearly a skill that children need not just for school, but for life. Now, if things just cannot be settled by the children, such as physical altercations, of course there's a teacher to aid and redirect them. Violence is never accepted in a Montessori classroom, regardless of a child's age. In the end, concerns about mixed ages just don't hold up. It's time for change. But it can be hard to buck tradition. After all, could most of the world's educators and schools really have gotten it so wrong for so long? Yes. Just as in Maria Montessori's time, society was so wrong and had been for so long about not mixing men and women together in medical school. Thankfully though, Dr. Montessori and courageous others bucked a few biases in their day. And now it's time we do the same in ours by moving away from the traditional and toward what's right. Montessori mixed age classrooms. <laughs>